Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's have a look at the pattern layer in Affinity Photo. The pattern layer is pretty cool and it can really speed up your workflow, especially if you want to fill a layer with a predefined pattern. Let's start by adding an empty pattern layer. This can be done by using the layer menu. Before the pattern layer is added, we need to specify the dimensions of the pattern. Let's set them to 200 by 200 pixels. Once the pattern layer is created, we can paint on it with the pixel tools. Keep in mind that the pattern layer is a pixel based layer, so we cannot draw on it with vector shapes. One of the killer features is that you are not restricted to the initial pattern dimensions. You can draw anywhere on the canvas and you get an immediate live preview, which is awesome. Okay, this is me being creative. I'm quite sure you can draw much better patterns than me. Once you're done painting your pattern, we come to the next cool part of pattern layers, the ability to transform it. As you can see, you can easily resize it, rotate it, or even skew it. A quick note on adjustments and filters with the pattern layer. These always apply to the end result. Let me demonstrate what I mean by adding a twirl distortion. As you notice, the filter is not applied to the initial pattern, but to the whole canvas. Painting patterns with a paintbrush can be challenging. Luckily, there are other ways of creating patterns. You can create your pattern using different layers with all the tools available. In this example, I'm using circles and as you see, I'm combining them until I have a nice pattern. One important thing to keep in mind is to use whole pixel values when using vector objects because you will need sharp edges around your pattern. This looks good. I will make a copy of it and then rasterize the copy. As mentioned earlier, the pattern layer is a pixel layer and the source needs to be a pixel layer. Once we have our pixel layer, we can now use the new pattern layer from selection from the menu. That is cool, isn't it? Let me hide the source layer so we can have a better view of our pattern. As mentioned earlier, it is so easy to adjust your pattern, just resize and rotate it to your needs. Creating this pattern took a bit of time and planning. Let's now have a look how we can quickly create interesting patterns from images. Let me load the flower image from the stocks panel. Now select an area which looks interesting for a pattern. I think this part could be interesting. If I now convert this selection to a pattern, this doesn't work. Remember what I said earlier. The source needs to be a pixel layer. So, if we rasterize the image to a pixel layer, it will work now. Looks quite interesting. However, not perfect. And here's a trick to make it seamless. Make sure your pattern layer is selected with the select tool and in the toolbar there will be a mirror checkbox. Let's turn this on. Pretty awesome. If I make the pattern layer smaller, you see I get a very interesting pattern. Here is another example of a pattern that I found on the internet. Let's convert this to a pattern layer. Yes, I forgot to convert it to a pixel layer on purpose, as a reminder for you. Okay, I have my pattern now. If you look closely, this pattern image is not a perfect pattern. Look at this part, it's just hanging in there. A quick fix would be to use the mirror. However, in this case, this would not be a good fix. Let me make the pattern smaller and show you what I mean. 
As you might notice, because of the mirror effect, the ornaments are upside down. So how to fix this? Well, we need to make a better crop before making a pattern. This is how I would do it. Duplicate the original pattern and move it until you find the right position where the transition is seamless. Initially, I thought it was somewhere at the bottom, but I couldn't make the perfect match. But looking closely, you see that the repeating part is much more up in the image. Now that I have found the right spot, I will need to crop the original or make a crop selection for the pattern layer. To see where the crop should be made, I will change the blend mode to exclusion. This allows me to see where the crop should be. With the select tool, I will make a selection. The selection doesn't have to be perfect right now. Pressing the Q key for quick mask and with the select tool, I can resize the selection. With the help of snapping, the selection box snaps to a perfect selection. Once ready, press Q again to exit quick mask mode. Now we have a perfect selection from which we can create the pattern. Pretty cool. Let's have a look and indeed it is perfect. Well, this was a complicated case. However, if you already have a perfect pattern image like this one, filling the canvas with the pattern is pretty easy by using the pattern tool. Keep in mind that the pattern layer is only available in Affinity Photo. For Affinity Designer users, the easiest way to make patterns is using symbols. Here I have the same vector I created earlier in Affinity Photo. From the Symbols panel, I can use the Create Symbol button to convert it to a symbol. Let me park one symbol to the left. Now I will fill the canvas with duplicates of this symbol. Because we have everything set up as a symbol, I can change one of them and all the others will update automatically, giving you the same idea as the pattern layer in Affinity Photo. The only disadvantage is that you do not have the flexibility of easily resizing or rotating your pattern. But as an advantage, you do have vector objects. I hope you liked this video and thanks again for watching.